So a lot of you had ideas about whether this actually works, and as usual, you're all wrong. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at the physics at play here to see why this does actually work in Kerbal Space Program, but can't work in real life. Now, the most common misconception I saw here is that this would work for a while, but the magnets would run out of charge or lose power. In reality, this just isn't a thing that happens with permanent magnets. Magnets simply don't get weaker with use. They don't have charge stored like a battery. Regardless, the machine still wouldn't work for a variety of other reasons. First, I want you to think about this. How does the machine know which way to rotate? Each magnet is going to pull on the magnet opposite it with some force. However, that opposite magnet also applies an opposing force in the opposite direction, so everything cancels out. In reality, what would likely happen if the magnets were strong enough is the bars holding the magnets in place would warp, deform, or break, much like we've seen before with the magnet car. Now, it should be readily apparent that it can't work in real life because you can't get energy from nothing. So why does it work in Kerbal Space Program? Here, the laws of physics operate slightly differently. Here, we can change the force applied by each magnet independently. So in other words, the attractive forces between the magnets still act in opposing directions, only this time, they aren't necessarily equal. This produces a net force in a given direction, which turns into rotational motion. 